If there's one thing that we all have in common, that would be fear. A deep wired emotional reaction to something that we perceive as dangerous. You may not know this, but our greatest tool of survival will always be our own fear. If humanity couldn't feel it, we would be long gone. There are two kinds of fear, rational and irrational. But for the sake of this video, I will focus on irrational fear, which can be described as feeling desperately anxious and scared on a situation where no actual threats exist, which can be directly associated with why we feel strange and uneasy in liminal spaces. And I think we all know how it feels to be there. The fear of simply not understanding the fear of the unknown. Ever since I began exploring the dark and disturbing side of the Doom modding community, there has been one mod that I've been actively avoiding because of reasons. The 16th of September of 2012, a user going by the name of Raveyard posted this on the forums of Sandronum for everyone to see. Ghosted2.wad, a mod for Doom 2 that has a file size of 123 megabytes, something that is all alarmingly strange, as the original file size for Doom 2 is of around 14 megabytes, so whatever we find inside this mod is for sure not going to be pretty. Ay, la neta me voy a morir, que les puedo decir? Anyways, before I continue onward, it's my pleasure to inform you that this is my 1000th video. 1000 videos done. And I cannot simply wrap my head around that. To celebrate, let's see if this video can reach 15,000 likes. YouTube hates disturbing doomwads for some strange reason, so would you kindly leave a huge like? My sanity would greatly appreciate that, my friends. If you know about any other disturbing doomwad or creepy game you want me to check out, be sure to leave it down below in the comment section, because you know, I actually do read all of your comments. Every single goddamn one. And reply as well. What can I say? I try my best. With that being said, let's download the WAT file from Sandronum, drag it into GC Doom, and let's dive straight back into hell. But before we get into it, this video was sponsored by Gamersubs. Use code MIDNIGHT to get 10% off your order and free international shipping. Thank you so much for the support, and I really hope you enjoy. This looks absolutely terrifying. There's seven whole maps. What the fuck? To my surprise, this mod for Doom 2 features seven maps in total, with all of them being potential liminal spaces. So, of course, we're beginning with map number one, Facility in Ultra Violence Difficulty. Because frankly, my friends, I enjoy making my life just a little bit harder every chance I get. But anyways, here goes nothing. Well, 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 what do we have here? Can I run? Of course I can, but still, even if I try to run, I'm very, very slow. This place is rather scary and pretty goddamn dark, goddammit. In this mod, we only have one goal, find all eight pages and get the hell out. Well, I hear a noise here, so... Let's see what we can find. We are supposed to find 8 pages in total. Can they be here, hidden, in a corner or something? Or are they gonna- oh! Health pack? I can't seem to pick it up. Hola! At first I thought this was going to be an easy task. I mean, how hard can it be to find 8 pages? Yet, the more I walked, the more I explored, the more I searched, the better I understood that something was not right. What the hell? I think it's the first time I've seen a texture like that from a doom door. Can I go below it? I can't seem to do it. In the beginning, I thought this map was going to be simple and small. I mean, that's what it said on the description of the mod. But that couldn't be further from the truth, goddammit. This map is a gigantic labyrinth, so finding all pages is not going to be an easy task. It's very simple to do. What's- oh, oh, oh there's a page! I found one! 
page collected. Not only is the map very creepy, but after finding the first page, I heard a familiar noise that signaled the beginning of this game. No. No. <laughs> Hola! Oh my god, where, are, where am I going? What is this? What? The map just keeps getting bigger. I continue onward on my search and found this. Help me, help me. They drive me crazy. They drive me crazy. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh. Stop! Thinking that something was stopping me, I decided to keep moving in this direction, which was not a good idea. Oh my god. Um... Oh! What? No? No! No! What's that? What's that? Santa Madre de Dios, what the hell is this a la chingada? I can't seem to make the shape of it. It is a very strange creature. The bastard kept following me through the map, and when I was finally able to lose him, I noticed something that made me despair and question the thing I was doing. Dude, this map is so big! How do you want me? Oh my god. No! Ah, 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 ah. Thankfully, I was able to escape the creature's grasp and ran away, which in turn forced me to go deeper into this maze. But well, at least I know why there are medkits scattered through the facility. Oh no, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> este hijo de la chingada wouldn't stop following me, which in turn made me unable to explore as I wanted. How the fuck do you want me to complete this fucking level? It's so big! Huh? Hola? Hola? ¿Estás ahí? Oh! Hello? <gasps> oh, oh. After running for my life, I got progress. Way! Off on a page. Page two. Right in the corner of the map. Just memorize it, midnight. What? Oh! 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 oh. Get away. Get the fuck away. Just remember that the more pages we find, the more dangerous the creature gets. That's just the nature of this game. I really have no idea how the creator of this mod- <gasps> I found a page! Maybe this is a type of- I can hear you! He's, he's following me. He's definitely following me. This is where I die. Because I could feel the creature soplando me en la nuca, I decided to keep running and test my luck. That was until I was able to go outside. What? I'm outside? Oh my god. But of course, the creature was still following me. So I got back inside and found this. Oh, I found a page. Run, Midnight, run! If I want to beat the game, I need to take my time and explore the right way. But for that to happen, I need to take a look at the map. But if I do so, I cannot see my surroundings, making this extremely hard to manage. I have four pages in total. Four. Damn. Pages. Dude, I'm just running in circles. Okay, I believe the... No. What is this? <laughs> Again, I was able to escape, and actually, for quite a while, the creature didn't appear, giving me the opportunity to explore as I wanted. Continue trying. He opened the door. I can hear him. Where is this guy? <gasps> What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. So, not only do I have to manage two hijos de la chingada, but this new ghost looks disgusting as hell. Run for your life, Midnight. There's another freaking stupid monster here. No one... What? Nobody told me about another monster. I thought there was only one. Where the fuck am I? Hola? 
Oh. I find it hilarious how the ghost made me run into an entirely new area I hadn't explored. Like if it was luring me deeper into this maze. What is this place? Hola? Hola. I need to check every single corner. And see. Oh! Hijo de puta! Hijo de puta! Okay, I understand. Right as I was getting ready to reset the run, something weird happened. 11 minutes of pure suffering. W what? What? In other games, when you die, you restart and try again. That's the nature of video games. But not here. It's only but a signal that you need to keep moving forward into the next level. Into the next circle of hell. But more on that later. Why am I in another map? When I wasn't able to beat the first one, the creator just wants to keep my suffering going. Change my mind. Well, isn't that a sign? Ugh. I have a pretty bad feeling about this. I mean, I cannot be the only one that finds cemeteries and morgues the perfect places to experience some paranormal activity. I'm gonna try my best and beat at least one map. It might be impossible though. This place is just pretty goddamn big. Like I said, these maps are enormous, están grandísimos. So it took me quite a while to find the first page, which made me realize that the monsters that haunt us in these maps will only start their hunt when we find the first page. Not that it matters, as the game's atmosphere and setting are pure nightmare fuel. Truly, these types of games really... really hit what it hurts. Being alone... And these big places that are supposed to be filled with people. Dude, there's not a single page outside. After a bunch of time of exploring and backtracking, I finally found the first page. <gasps> I found a page. Look, for me to be able to beat this game, I need to be able to memorize all the places I've explored, where I found the pages, and be able to navigate the map in such a way that the monsters do not get to me. Please do not be something awful. Be something like a God damn it. Be something like a kitty cat. Something pretty. Something cute. Something that makes me smile. Oh, meth kit. <laughs> what is this Slenderman doing here? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, what can you expect? Of course, this game takes inspiration on Slender Man, but that can't wait, because right now we are running for dear life. Stop it. Stop. I found a page, I picked it up, that wasn't a good idea. Wait, oh, oh, he just keeps following me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, oh. Okay. This is a subway. At this point, something was made clear. Either the creator chose these places with intent, or he was just very edgy. Yet, I preferred the former more than the latter. <sighs> I'm really considering if I should grab this page or not. But okay, I'm doing this for you, my friends. Be grateful. One of fate. Flickering lights mean danger. Got it. If I say flickering lights, I'm not going that way. I'm going the other way. All these places we have explored so far are frame-perfect examples of liminal spaces. So, in reality, the monsters are just the icing on the cake. The maps themselves are what makes this experience so perturbing. This reminds me to the subway of Mexico City. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. 
Hola. Oh, su pinche madre, wey. This is indeed the subway of Mexico City. Dude, you cannot be kidding me. <laughs> you cannot be kidding me. Well, that's what happens when I open my big mouth. Soy un puñetas. It didn't matter how much I ran, the monster just wouldn't stop. Hola. Señorita. <gasps> Señorita. Eso no es algo muy divertido, señorita. Thankfully, I didn't steer that deep into the maze and was able to start my search from the beginning area. Oh, oh, no, no. Run, 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 run. Where am I going? <laughs> The track seemed to lead me into a page, so I jumped down and followed the trail. I'm on the tracks of the subway. There must be a page around here. I just know there is. Wait, don't tell me the train is gonna come. That would have been insane to be fair. But well, there's nothing here. I went to the other side's tracks and found a secret passage. I kept moving forward, but wasn't able to find anything. After some time of carefully exploring, I found something that was quite weird. Daily news. Eight dead bodies found in Ark basement. Is that why we need to find the eight pages? That may not sound as useful information, but believe me when I say, my friends, that everything will make sense right at the end. Thankfully, there was this beside the newspaper room. I think it's never a good sign to see a page with a pentagram on it. It really isn't. Page two of eight. Sobres! <gasps> Another page? Yes! Progress. Yet, after some time of exploring, I noticed that something was quite wrong. The ghost has been awfully quiet. Another page. Oh my god, I have four. But this is not a good sign. The more pages I get, the more violent the ghost gets. <gasps> Is this a sign? Flickering lights! Run! I'm sorry, my friends, but how can the timing of the monster be so damn perfect? It's like he's listening to my commentary as well. Anyways, I kept searching the unexplored area and found this. This has me on the edge of my... God damn it! I got six pages. At this point, I was screaming. We are so close to winning, yet so far as well. And it didn't help that this door led me near the starting area again. Yet, I was able to notice some doors I hadn't opened yet. I haven't checked the stalls. <gasps> well, hello, Doom Guy. I can't see myself. <laughs> okay. Hola! Como están? Oh, God. Where's the goddamn page? Well, I cannot be that lucky, I guess. At this point, I was becoming insane. I could hear the monster getting closer and closer, but it wouldn't appear. It wouldn't attack. It honestly didn't matter, as its presence was heavily felt. After taking a good look at the map, I noticed that there was another railway station I hadn't explored, giving me the hope I needed to find the last two pages. I haven't been here. Oh my god, I'm trapped here. I need to check every single corner. <gasps> my god. Find the last page, that's what I'm trying to do. With the pace of the sounds getting faster, it meant that the monster was getting closer. So now, more than ever, it's do or die. Oh! 
shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, oh! Power Master? What's that achievement? What, what, uh, uh. Oh! Stop it! No. I was so damn close until this took me off by surprise. I do not care about achievements, I just want to beat the game. But well, of course this cannot end here, as this is disturbing. We go until the very end. Oh, hello. Now I am on a town. And I already found the first page. God damn it. 12 pages? Finding 8 pages was already an almost impossible task to do. So this feels like the creator just being a massive a hole. No! <laughs> the monsters are just. Awful. Walking through an empty city in the middle of the night does make me feel like if I wasn't left for dead, which made me feel quite like home. Yes, home. Still, as always, this map is just too big, so finding all pages is not going to be easy. Oh, talking about pages, I got two already. And three. God damn, the, the, the pentagram page is not always a good sign. I need to give credit where credit is due. All the maps remind me, and the ambience, the tone, and everything reminds me to Silent Hill. And not only because of the map's aesthetic, but because of how they play. Sure, we're navigating through an empty town, how scary can that be? But it definitely feels like something else entirely. Flickering lights. I see the flickering light. Oh! What the fuck? I'm going this way. <laughs> no, 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 no way. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I ran as fast as I could, but it didn't matter. The monster just wouldn't stop. Thankfully or not, I found the fourth page as I was escaping. And to my lucky or unlucky surprise, the fifth page was waiting for me just around the corner. And after picking it up, for some reason, the monster stopped dead on its tracks and stopped following me. Oh my god, flickering lights mean danger, flickering lights mean danger, I'm in danger, help me! Take a look at this. This map is huge, and I'm pretty sure we haven't even revealed 60% of it. This guy is just crazy. Thankfully, it seems the game has given me a moment to breathe, so as long as we play carefully, we can win. Hello? -oh. Hello. Oh, 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 Okay, this map is named Silent Night. I do not like that naming scheme one bit. Good thing is that we have already one page. One of eight, instead of freaking twelve. Getting the first page that quick is nothing but a bad omen. Believe me, my friends. I think the scariest places to be at night is somewhere that's extremely silent. But well, we have a mission to do, my friends. What's up with the decoration? It's, it's again, very Silent Hill. Like, rusty... What the fuck? Where are you? Where are you? Flickering lights mean danger, which means I'm in danger, which means I need to run. <laughs> God, God damn it, man. Wherever I go, he sure wants me dead. I can feel it. And the worst thing about this is that I can hear its footsteps as it gets closer. Holy crap. Hello? I can hear him. Hola? He's there. What are... Hola? 
Hola? Oh. At this point, I knew that the monster was just stalking me. With that in mind, I continued my search carefully and was able to find the second page. I then went inside a little shed and found another page. Lucky me! A huevo! Oh! Another page! Four of eight. In a span of like 10 seconds, the game's difficulties escalated to the stratosphere. At this point, I noticed a building I hadn't explored yet, so if there were any pages near me, that would be the perfect place. Okay, I need to get inside that building. I know for a fact that there's a page there. He knows I want that page. Oh, well, I found another one. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Oh, I got five. Only three more to go. <sighs> oh. Hola. <laughs> Another page. I have six of eight already. I don't know why, but the monster seems to always lead me into the pages I'm looking for. Like if it was leading me into his very own trap. Hola. I heard you. I heard you open the door. Oh, oh, oh! With six pages stuffed in our ass, I just cannot let it end here. I ran and tried to play as smart as I could, only to be met with this. Just why? I'm trapped. I need to parkour my way out. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, it seems he or she gave. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> we have visited a facility, a cemetery, a subway, a town, and now we are on an advanced research corporation. Imagine we are in Black Mesa. And this is happening right after the Resonance Cascade incident. Honestly, that would be a perfect idea for a horror-focused Valve game. I mean, sure, Left 4 Dead and Half-Life are already horror games in their own right, but a purely focused horror experience on a powered-down Black Mesa facility would just be too good, I want that. I say that because, well, here's orange stuff, so this reminds me to Half-Life. The music is... Very eerie. Very eerie indeed. Big ass corridors. I do not enjoy big ass corridors. At least have a little bit of bodies here for me to not feel all alone. Hello. Whoa! This game has me so bad, I'm even getting scared of freaking elevators, no mames. I was surprised that I hadn't found the first page. That was until I found it. And guess what? I found the second page seconds after. Page 2 collected. Oh, stop. Flickering lights me in danger! Flickering lights me in danger! <laughs> I wasn't going to let it end here. Of course not. Slenderman, this bastard right here, is especially hard to escape from thanks to how it forces my camera to lock on himself. Yet, even after that bullcrap, I remember the elevator I passed through some moments ago. Save me, lift! Save me! Save me! Save me! Oh my god, this is so... Uh, uh. Oh my god, I will survive. I just have my will to live. I just have my will to live. I will survive. I will survive. Yeah. Oh my god. I got a page, I got three pages of eight. I will run for all my life, I will go through all the facility and grab all pages, <laughs> and grab all pages, yeah. 
flickering light made danger. Main danger. After that disaster, I was finally safe. So much so that I found the fourth page. For some reason, the monster just stopped giving a damn and gave me the opportunity I needed to explore. Ho! Oh. I'm feeling very lucky. I'm feeling so lucky that I was able to find a door that leads outside, where I found a large pool of blood in the middle of the garden. There's a large pool of blood in the middle. That's not, that's never a good sign. Oh. Six pages of eight. With now six pages in our possession, we can almost see the end goal, the light at the end of the tunnel. Because we are so close on winning, I decided to risk it all and take a good hard look into the map and navigate the places I hadn't explored yet. A bold move from my part, as I cannot see anything when doing so. Thankfully, I was able to reach a part of the map I hadn't explored, so this could very much be yet there must be something here I think I haven't come to this place page while exploring I noticed a trail of blood which really captivated me oh I'm following the trails of blood and I found the second to last page but where's the last one please tell me it's here somewhere. Let me stop for just a second, okay? After all we have been through, the one time we reached 7 pages in total, the monster got incredibly violent and active. So, it's do or die. Yeah, no. <gasps> all pages collected. Me la pelas, hijo de la per... Even though we won on the last map, we still need to pass through this one. And of course, it's on a freaking hospital. Fun fact, I am absolutely terrified of hospitals. And not because I feel scared of them but because I simply do not like to be in them. And I can't simply be the only one that thinks that way. Hospitals do have a very heavy atmosphere, at least for me. Also, hospitals are the perfect place for paranormal activities. This is a place where people tend to die. And by knowing that fact, your brain starts playing mind games with you. This calmness of liminal space is not gonna last forever because I already I already found the first page, god damn it. I really want to get out of here quick, so let's not waste any more time and keep moving forward. Hello. <gasps> I found another page hidden all the way back here. Taking a good look at the map, I noticed that I had cleared this entire place, so it was time to get back inside the hospital and search for the pages. Flickering lights mean danger. Where is he? Oh! Shit! 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 Oh my! I will survive! Uh -huh, uh -huh. I got all my will to live! I got all my will to live! I will survive! I will survive! Yeah! This is a trap! This is a trap! But I'm still gonna survive, I am still gonna survive, I am still gonna survive I found a page And I am dead well, what can I say? Out of the 7 maps in total of this game, I was able to beat only one, with that being the advanced research complex. So, I guess this is the end of this mod for Doom 2. What the fuck?
To understand just what the hell is going on right now, we need to go back to map number 3, Subway, and take a good look at the newspapers found on the walls, as it describes a tragedy that unfolded on the advanced research complex, where 8 people lost their lives. I want to focus on the number 7 for a bit, as there are 7 maps in total. In Dante's Divine Comedy, he describes purgatory as a place separated in 7 terraces, with each one of them being different than the last. The souls in purgatory are in the process of moral change. They suffer, but not simply to repay a debt, but to ultimately become good and transcend to heaven. They willingly go through a painful and insufferable experience in order to change within them what made them sin in the first place. I believe that in this mod for Doom 2, we're going through the seven levels of purgatory in such a bizarre way. If we find all eight pages, we win, we transcend to heaven, but if we not, and we keep failing, we reach a place that marks the beginning of the end. In Dante's Divine Comedy, Limbo is technically the first circle of hell, and this is where we are right now. So let's move on. How is this even possible? How? I... I... I can't... I can't understand. The game stated that there were only 7 maps in total, not 8, and this one is called Ghosted 1. And... well... yeah. Surprisingly, this map is way easier to navigate, and not that big to begin with. Yet, no matter how much I explored, I couldn't find a single page, making me feel very uneasy. Hi, way. Where should I go? Ugh, oh, here you are, my precious. Page collected, one of eight. Finding the first page meant the hunt is on, and because this level can only be accessed after you played all seven maps, I was afraid of what was coming next. Thankfully, I was able to go outside and catch my breath a little. Oh, I'm outside. But I can't seem to see anything at all. Hello? 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 <laughs> Run, Midnight. Do not look back. Just keep running. It's so dark, I can't see shit. I thought that was a page. I completely take back what I said about this map being easier to navigate. Because all rooms look very similar, it's very hard to know which places I have cleared and which I haven't. Okay, the map is not that big. So I should be able to complete this map. And I guess this is the actual last map. Oh, I see a page. I wanna guess this is the actual last map. Okay, now I'm at the top. Oh! The top floor. Jump, Midnight! Now I can hear multiple ghosts following me. After running in circles over and over and over and over, I managed to find progress. God damn it, four? I only got four pages? Really? At this point, I had already explored the entire map, so the only thing I could do was going room by room in hopes of finding the last remaining pages. Now I've got five. Five pages. I can do this, my friends. Oh! oh I saw him! I got six pages now.
no, 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 and well, this is the end for this disturbing mod for Doom 2. Or does it? I think it's pretty obvious that this mod for Doom 2 takes inspiration from the video game known as Slender the 8 Pages. Yet, what I want to focus on is how this mod uses places that are commonly filled with people and turns them into something liminal. When you take humans out of the equation, a hospital, town, cemetery, subway, a building, etc., they all cease to be what they were, becoming something else entirely different. Being all alone in these places that are commonly filled with people taps right into that weird part of our mind that we cannot explain, it being our very own irrational fear. The fear of not understanding, the fear of the unknown, something that has kept us living and existing since the day we were conceived into this world. Hello my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun doing it and I hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. Do not forget to use code MIDNIGHT on GAMERSUBS, if you support them, you will be supporting me as well. Also, be sure to leave a huge like and a comment for the algorithm gods. Believe me when I say my friends, but thank you so much for the incredible support. This past year has been fantastic. But anyways, I hope you're having a fantastic day my friends and stay safe. Adios, bye. Hello, my beautiful patrons, it's that time of the day once again. Huge shout out to Hiro Kawaguchi, Cyan Koreas, Jude Cole, Sepeda, Trevor Jack Hesta, Long Grey Jedi, Leyen Hunter 743, Dan the Man, Romney Hasegawa, Frank Soros, Cody the Loner, Jaku Fumu, Steven M. Refcorn, Megaton George, Unknown User Zero, and Florian Hablowatz. Muchisimas gracias, los quiero bastante.